I got a big old king again, brother. <laughs> Can you handle him? I'm handling the slimy ones today. All right. Is that the right one? All right. Zebra. Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. You see my path right there, Walker? 12 o'clock? Straight ahead. You coming into deep water now? All right, here's what I want to do. The bank that's up ahead of us. I want to hug that joker because we got that north wind. Yeah, I believe that'd be great. From this high up, it's going to throw the net down fast. Much better. Okay. You know, I wanted to catch a wahoo. It's a, it's a fishery that I've, you know, we've had down here in the Keys for some time. I feel that we've really kind of starting to master it. You know what I mean? Starting to figure out when I need to fish for them. Starting to figure out, you know, where I need to fish for them. Starting to figure out what exact weather I need. Right. You know, I can make that decision the night before if I'm going to go wahoo fishing or not by the weather. Um, we had a little bit of window before the front was moving in. I figured let's go ahead and give it a shot if we're going to do it. Uh, you know, we shot out to a spot where I've caught a few before. Uh, we anchored down. You know, my priority, you know, my MO, first number one priority was I had you on. Scotty through the anchor. We had that after that. <laughs> that's, well, that's always, that's, that's, that's just a given. Man, this is great. You can go anywhere you want to go with everything you need right here. Big chum back? Nah, we're good, buddy. Hey, we got a pelican. So you were telling me on the way out you'd like me to uh, bring up a couple for bonitas yeah. for bait. Catch some bonitas. And a couple for wahoos. Yeah. While you build the chum line. Yeah. I think the bonita would be the ticket, and we can start chunking the bonitas up and building a little. Uh... We certainly have enough pilchards to get the bonitas happy. See, we got some birds hanging out. Mr. Pelican. Look at him. He said, look, y'all caught all my bait this morning. <laughs> I'm going where y'all are going. I'm going to get some of my bait back. Some of that good stuff. Give me some of that good stuff. Now, everybody fishes for Oahu at 15 knots. Was it just all the free diving you do? You decided that, hey, man, start throwing some chunks at him, catch him that way. Yeah, you realize it. Or did you use the chunks to lure them in so you could spear them, and then when you don't want to spear them, no, we got it all figured out from underwater. No, well, you real, they realize. I mean, you swim around them, you realize they don't always, you know, swim at 18 knots. You know, they slow down and hang out. So, <laughs> seeing, you know, seeing how they react in the water to all that chum and bait and whatever, they just slow down and just nibble on it like a little snapper would. They don't have to go fast. <laughs> I just can't imagine. Wahoo well, nibbling on anything like a little snapper. Yeah, man. But they, I don't swim in them. If they don't have to uh, use all that energy, they won't, you know? Just like you, buddy. <laughs> you got I dinner. do prefer to buffets. Yeah. <laughs> if you got dinner at home, you ain't going out to eat. And I know I've said this before, and you've seen me do it before. I don't know if it's just the fact that I like hurting things, but and my therapist said this is good for me. <laughs> I can't imagine what you pay a therapist in a year.
Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Simrad and the brilliant award-winning NSE multifunction display by Mercury Marine. King Sailfish Mounts for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. By Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And by Steve Rogers Spear One Charters Key West, Florida. Scott Walker's Tailwalker Charters Duck Key, Florida. Under Armour and Plano. Oh, you got the target species, a bonita. You want to leave him right here so he can get cut uh, or you want to put him in ice? Yeah, lay him right there in the back corner. Right next to that other one, Bob. Scotty, I need bonita. Right. I want all the bonitas you can catch me. I like bait fishing. Yeah, and, and the bonita ultimately is what, you know, we're going to use to bring those wahoos to the boat. Man, that's two in a row, Walker. You started catching me a few bonitas. Right. We started cutting up, you know, chunking up some of those bonitas, you know, putting that stuff in the water. Again, you know, it's just building the spot. You got the blood going in the water. You got fish starting to feed, smelling the blood, and we're building the spot. What we're doing, Scotty, and I know I've said this before and you've seen me do it before. I don't know if it's just the fact that I like hurting things, <laughs> but, and my therapist said this is good for me. <laughs> I can't imagine what you pay a therapist a year. <laughs> I teach him a lot. Dude. <laughs> I'm sure you teach him. Exactly. But what we're doing is we're cutting all this stuff up, right? Yeah, man. When anything feeds in the ocean, there's nothing clean about it, you know. And I think there's a lot of fish that actually feed off of the scraps of other fish. I've seen it diving, you know, and I've seen it fishing. So what I like to do is always just cut up. You know, if we're not going to eat it, we're going to cut it up and put it back in the ocean because something else is going to eat it. Red meat, baby. Red meat, good. <laughs> I wonder if I can get bonitas during the world sailfish. I told you, you're going to hang that from your kite. <laughs> oh, man, they are just having so much fun picking away those pilchards with no motors running. Oh, mine's gone. Whoa, 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 who's hitting the throw? I'm gone. All right. You jumped off one, that's the My leader broke. And then what do you catch yourself here? Giant kingfish. Look at the size of that king. Is it a big king? Yeah. It is a big king. I'm going to put the gaff away. I'm gonna, but I'll let him go. Well, he got, he's got wires, right? Yep, yeah, tailing. You know, he never had that real hard run. That's right. We I mean, had strength of him. <laughs> he's big. Today, it's like we're fishing in Jurassic Park or something. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, man. That is a nice fish. <laughs> A nice fish. Oh man, he's been eating some Key West pinks. Look at yeah, that. Man. Look at that pink. Beautiful Woo! fish. Beautiful I'm starting to think fish. that's they're eating a lot of red meat too. Yeah. 25 pound king, Walker. <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> I got a little one. Bite my yellow fin. Good job, buddy. All right. We'll release that joker. Yep, he's not a wahoo. No, we don't want him. Hit up. I hate them when they're hooked right there, boy. <laughs> there you go, thanks. What you got, buddy? Can knock off me. One time. Woo, baby. He tried to get you. He tried to get me and you. All right. Awesome, man. We don't want that. The wall is there. Good fight. This one's a king, king. mac, buddy. Let's Dookie. cut him up. Dookie lift him. Nice Come on. Pick. There's no wire on here. That's you all right. To... Come on. Oh, he's in the bag. Go get him, spear one. Chop that thing up. Hey, you know what? You can get the, keep that hook. <laughs> See, that is so lucky, Walker. You know what I mean? I know. I told you to get the gas. Hey, when, no, you, you when you're good, you're good. No. One more pull. Why one more we, good run. He was gone. Go, you will not be allowed to get the hook out of this. But I want it. Because I got light <laughs> colors on today. <laughs> We're going to let him go swim swim. All right, shark man. All right. Dude. Off into the blue. Give a couple kings back, they might give us a couple wahoos in return.
What happened? He hit, you said he hit it and cut it in half? Cut it clean in half, and the head took one skip on a surface and he greyhounded on it. My crew can only listen to me bark orders for so long. When they've had enough, they like to plug in their iPods and listen to music. Simrad and Fusion have come up with their version of the iPod player called the Sonic Hub. Sonic Hub can take any iPod player, touch, nano, or iPhone, and play the music through the Bose sound system so everyone can listen, even me. To access the iPod menu, a simple touch of a few buttons displays the iPod menu onto your Simrad screen, making it easy to pick and choose the album, artist, or song you want to hear next. Another real bonus to the Sonic Hub, it's easy to install. If you like listening to music while you're fishing, Simrad and Fusion have made Sonic Hub just for you. Woo, baby! He tried to get you. He tried to get me and you. All right. Awesome, man. We don't want that. And while he's there. Good fight. You couldn't have moved any faster, and I couldn't have moved any faster. We were on that. We were a, like a well-oiled machine. I mean, we were rigging, putting baits out, changing baits, cutting things, chunking as fast as we could because our Wahoo window was slowly closing. Time was not our friend here. We had the front moving in. I've done enough fishing for those Wahoos that I know exactly what happens. They want it nice and calm. When that front starts to push and that wind starts to pick up, the bite's over. I mean, those fish were still hanging out. We were still seeing them swimming around the boat, but the problem is they're not gonna feed. They don't like that turbulent water. They're not coming up to the top. I mean, it's just the case. When you're on an anchor boat. happen just like that. Yeah, you know, but here's what does like that. The kings. I mean, the kings love that. a cold front. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's the mark of a king, you know, kingfish season, is as soon as it gets cold, as soon as it gets rough, windy, kings are everywhere. So now we had the kings blazing where we couldn't get a bait to a wahoo every cast. because of the kingfish. We're trying to slip it underneath. You know, the kings still caught a king. Right. Tried everything. Is that the right one? All right. Zebra. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Turned, changed his mind. What happened? He hit, you said he hit it and cut it in half? Cut it clean in half. And the head took one skip on a surface and he greyhounded on it. That's awesome, dude. That's what we want right there. Look at that. Man. Wahoo on spin. What you got? I don't know. <laughs> I keep catching a lot of kings. <laughs> Make sure it's going. Mine's. I'm gonna be inside. Mine's over top. Yeah, I'm gonna be inside of you. Woo! Oh, he's staying on the top. Got light wire. You might be able to make that Caesar salad dish. <laughs> we get a whole one. A little piece of the whole one. We were on the uh, Simrad. And it showed as that front approached, man, that bite just shut down. Those fish were still there. But, I mean, they were just kind of nonchalant. You know, they didn't really want to feed. Um, I think we missed it because the actual weather window we needed was at night. You know, that front was coming, so that prefrontal, flat, calm, beautiful weather for that spot with that tide the way it was, was at night. Tell somebody you're going out to catch wahoos with 20-pound braid, 25-pound wind-on, little 40-pound leader. They think you're a little bit undermatched, wouldn't you? In the grip. Yeah, baby. Ha, <laughs> look at those racing stripes. Woo! Beautiful fish, guys. Looks not in his mouth either. Beautiful fish. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yeti coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Isla Morada, sport fishing capital of the world. By Okuma Fishing Tackle, there is no stopping Okuma. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And Staybill, for everyday protection against the damaging effects of ethanol.
very easy to tell the difference between a wahoo and a kingfish. Oh, it's a spectacular run. I mean, it, you, the only thing missing was smoke. I mean, it should have been there. <laughs> Not, no reel should be able to spin that fast without smoking. Now, we caught kings also, and, and they, they run, but they don't blister. I mean, some of the bigger kings fooled me a little, but ultimately, when I did get the wahoo on spin, which was incredible, I just think the whole idea that you're building this, this fishery on spin instead of the trolling, the 18 knots with the 80s, uh, this is how you can enjoy this beautiful fish. Yeah, there's but, nothing cool. I mean, that the trophy of it is that it's done with a spinning reel, you know? Oh, yeah. On an I mean, anchored boat. To hold on to that, when that drag closes, Nothing spins faster. I mean, a, a sailfish run hard, but that bite on the Wahoo is just something you can't imagine until you, you feel it in your own hands. Big old king again, brother. <laughs> Can you handle him? I'm handling the slimy ones today. All right. I'll get him. You sure? Yeah. I don't want to get, let the sharks get this. Oh. I'm coming your way again. All right, I got him close. Unbelievable. Red meat. Where you at? Where you at? I'm right here. He's going down now. Down and dirty where the sharks Back to the surface. That is so cool to watch him eat those chunks. Just yeah, like there. Bonita. I got big old king again, brother. <laughs> Can you handle him? I'm handling the slimy ones today. All right. But their eyes are as good as the tunas, aren't they? Yep. I mean, when you're swimming with them, though, they don't mind you like schoolies, they'll let you swim with them. How you doing, over there? You got all ten fingers? Yeah, man. How do they treat you when you swim with them? The wahoo? Yeah. Uh, they don't even care. They don't even care? No, they're used to swimming with them sharks, picking up the scraps, you know? Wow, that's crazy. Take your time, baby. We get him. It's funny, right when I hooked him, he acted like he was going to come to the boat and just give up. Well, you said if we keep putting stuff back, we get what we're after. <laughs> See, you release. <laughs> release a little bit. They'll give back to you. There it is, buddy. Get him on. Yep. Double header wahoos. Woo. Come on, baby. Turn him. <laughs> I do not want another kingfish. <laughs> and those stripes, those colors are like none other. I mean, not a lot of fish in the ocean. There's two. There's a tiger shark and there's a wahoo that have those vertical stripes that are just, you know, just really, really cool. Um, well, and their teeth, you know, their, their mouth opens from the bottom and the top. So right. they, can, they can eat a tuna if yeah. they wanted to. And they, if they're fast enough, they cut their tails off, come around. But their teeth are like cutting shears. Yeah, they're, they're going they're... through skin, no problem, bone, no problem. I mean, they're interlocking and razor sharp. When you move everything to a still boat and slow it way down like that, that wahoo comes in there and he has a chance to look at the bait and make a decision. Mm. That don't look right and peel yeah. off. Whereas when you're trolling, he doesn't have a chance to make a decision. He sees his so you can have the biggest hook, the biggest cable, and he's going to eat it. Because all he sees is something at 18 knots, you say, right? 18 is a number? 14, 14, 15, whatever. Yeah. That's his choice. With, on an anchored boat, that fish has an opportunity to look at the bait, inspect it. So we're going smallest hook. I mean, you saw us pull countless hooks. I mean, we miss fish after fish after fish because our hook that we're fishing with is a number one or one oh because we're trying to hide the hook, the lightest wire we can get. I even dropped down to 20 pound mono. Right. I stuck with 30 and I was happy with that. Yeah. In the grip. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at those racing stripes. Woo! Beautiful fish, guys. That hook's not in his mouth either. Beautiful fish. Holy moly. You want to pull you. that hook out? There's yes, a hook puller right over there. That's what we've been working for. All that work. Nice fish, man. Clear. Nice fish. Look at those stripes. Wow. On a spinning rod, baby. Beautiful fish, Walker. Good job, brother. 
not just beautiful, but great eating. You know, we, we got to bring that fish back in. Um, you know, I got to clean him up for you. You know, we made some, uh, some butterfly steaks, you know, for your family because, you know, you guys love to eat oh, that Wahoo. Mine's going to be blackened and it's going to be good. Yeah, as do I. I love to grill that Wahoo. That's a, you know, a way to prepare it boneless. Yeah. Um, it's very simple to do. Beautiful piece of meat. It's not something you always get to catch. It's very I seasoned. I prefer it over tuna as sashimi. Yeah. And I get it so rarely, but it's... Uh, it it's is. good stuff. And it's very seasonal for us. Yes. In the summer, you catch them on the pallets and on the weed lines, but we call them weehoos. I mean, you could put them on a loaf of bread. I mean, they're this long. Little loogies. Yeah. So that's not the fish we were after. We're after those 40, 50, and even 60-pound wahoos on an anchored boat. We got that's it done. We, we got us some meat. We had a lot of bycatch of king mackerel, which are just as fun to boot. You know, I didn't let you try to dehook too many because you had a little problem last year with that. So I kept you safe. I've been practicing. Man. I know. Look, I kept. I, I know. I, <laughs> I kept you safe, and we had a great time. And again, it was a great day on the water. Sweet Walker.